Well, from an nice. Point of view, it's Here we go. Really like the way oh, oh, what a goal! EA have done a bad thing and they have given a damage Ayori a special card in Ultimate Team. I still have bad flashbacks to coming up against this guy's Ultimate Stream card um, a year or so ago. It was, you know, the stuff of nightmares. Anyway, we're going to try this card out today. 86 rated. Looks okay. Like You can certainly see where the positives are on this card, but you can also see where the limitations are. Two-star weak foot, not ideal in the slightest on a winger, but uh, hopefully his ability on the ball, his pace and his physicals are really, really going to benefit this guy. Um, yeah, let's just get into it, shall we? This is the team he's going to be used in, and hopefully he can do a really nice job on this right edge for us. So, let's have a look at them in-game stats, shall we? Obviously, the pace is outstanding. Literally can't get much better. A plus one in sprint speed wouldn't have hurt the EA, but yeah, he's pretty much got 99 pace. Shooting is not looking great. Not looking great for a high-rated winger. Attack positioning, not the best. Finishing, pretty average. Shot power, though, is quite good. Hopefully, the fact he's got high-low wear crits will help out his in-game positioning, though. So, we'll see how his base positioning is versus his run-making. Passing actually looks very good, a very nice crossing rating and good short passing, so hopefully he can create some really good chances for our attack. And then we come on to the dribbling, where like his agility, balance, ball control and in-game dribbling are class, but his reactions absolutely suck and his composure is also pretty low. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mix in that dribbling department. And then finally the physicals, they're just pretty good. Um, nice jumping, um, he's, not the, well, he's actually not too short, so hopefully does win a decent amount of aerial battles. Very good strength, as expected, with an Adama Triore card and their OK stamina. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this card played out, because let's be honest, in past FIFAs, he's had cards which don't look that amazing, but in-game are still pretty good. Hopefully that's the case with this item. Now, the chem style for this guy is... It's a bit of a pick em, really. You could really, really choose between any of the attacking ones. Basic isn't terrible. Deadeye is a good shout. Finish is not a bad option. And nor is Marksman. So, uh, yeah, you certainly have your choices. Like, literally any attacking chem style is quite good for this guy. Even Maestro is quite nice, especially with that reaction boost. But to be honest, I'm not liking the look of that finishing. And I want a winger who can, you know, really put the ball in the back of the net. So... I'm thinking we go Deadeye or Finisher, and honestly, his passing isn't too bad, so I'm going to go with Finisher, nice boost to that shooting, and also make his dribbling pretty damn insane, but it is obviously still a shame that we can't get these reactions too far up. Game number three, and guess what? It's another flashback Benzema. He is everywhere this week. Nice. Here's a good bit of play. And Adama. Plenty of room for him to run into. Cross goal strike, and he scores. Like... I've said it so many times, his shot power is just not feeling correct. Now, I don't want to discredit him, he scored the goal, he did enough to score there. But I put a lot of power into that because I love that cross goal power shot. And the shot that was produced, although it beat the keeper so we can't complain, was not a powerful strike, which in theory it should have been. Here we go, come on Adama, now is your time to show your pace. Lots of open space, lots of grass feet to run into, goes for the dink over the keeper and it's just not going to have enough. Solskjaer into Triore, who does get there, but the shot under pressure does not find the back of the net. This game is just so much more open than the other games that we've had. Oh, I don't know what Adama did there to get through, and what a save that is from the keeper. Nice. Here we go. Oh, what a goal! Man it! Hello! I mean, goals just look so much better when they're coming off the post. It has to be said... The cross from Adama, that was not meant in the slightest. We got a bit fortunate with that. But what a strike. Half time in this one, and so far liking what I'm seeing. As you can see from the XG, it's not really a 3 0 game, but we've just taken our chances more than the opposition. The ball, oh, we love the little flick up to Adama, and I thought. I thought the ball was bouncing nicely. I thought, you know what? Let's chance it. I'll never do that again with Adama. <laughs> I think I killed someone in Rose. Gets it to Adama, who's got a lot of space here. We see Mane at the back stick. We find Mane at the back stick, and we make a make another chance, which uh, Mane gladfully. Nice. Oh, I just couldn't regain control of the ball. Took on one, and then just <laughs> just didn't react. One ball up the field again. Loves to get on the end of through balls, and this time, oh, I thought he was going to nab that. I thought he was going to just have enough. And there's full time, a pretty nice 4-1 victory in this one. Good outing from Adama, to be fair. Goal and an assist for him. Like, he feels all right. Like, there's no doubt about that. But he's just, 
you know, he's one of them players that people are just going to have a field day with or they're just going to do absolutely nothing with just because, yeah, he's a pretty limited player. Let's go then. Here we are. That's a, that's a nice team. Some good players in there, but hopefully it's a back line that we can exploit. There we go. Adama is on his bike and he's going to get well in behind. Not the best first touch and Kimpembe tries to win the ball off him, but the Spaniard keeps all the possession nicely. Nice. Here's an opportunity. Dinked into the box. Oh, I do not want Bernardo Silva there. Shouldn't really be. It was a nice ball into the box, don't get me wrong, but Bernardo Silva, a really small player, is not who we want in that position. Nice. Bit of space for the Spaniard. Gets the shot away that just didn't seem to have the power that I wanted on it. That's nice from Solskjaer. Gets the ball through, and here is Adama. We have a chance now to score, and I pressed shoot so much earlier. Disappointing that it took so long to shoot. Chance again for the Spaniard. Well, after getting the second goal, we got a quick rage quit. So, um, happy days, I guess. I thought Adama on debut was okay, I guess. Um, positionally, he seems to be a bit all over the place. And when I put an input, he seems to be a bit behind before he actually does said input, which is a bit frustrating, but he feels absolutely rapid, and on the ball, feels quite nice too. Next game, and we are up against a flashback Benzema, who, let's be honest, we come up against in every other game. I'm breaking away, but I have no support. Adama, save me. Oh, it's just ran past the ball. Fans try out right. He goes for the cross into the box, which almost causes some trouble. The deflected cross almost caused some problems. Oh, it's like overdone it himself but he's won the ball back with his physicals and then we just can't control the ball lots of space here Adama I mean that ball could have been so much simpler but at least it found its target that's what's important here's a chance ball's put through and Adama's quick but he's not quite that quick oh what a terrible time for that to happen what a terrible time for that to happen oh no Oh, we got so lucky. Controllers died. And it still hasn't reconnected. And wow, we almost conceded. Okay, half time in at this one. And we're just going to switch to a 4 3 3 variant. Just because I want to get Adama into some more attacking situations. Because out wide right now, he is just not getting on the ball at all. So we're going to play in this formation for the second 45. Yes, I want to see that. Oh, what referee, really? Shoulder to shoulder. Come on. The lad is just showing a bit of fight for the badge, that's all. Benzema, in to Adama, he's going to beat his man nicely, oh, just spared or close him down quick enough. I wanted to pull back or even bang it across the box and I just didn't get a chance to do either. There's a chance to break now, Adama, come on, get round him, get round him, get round him, nice. Love that Adama, love that Adama, oh, the cutback just wasn't angled well enough. Come on, Adama, you should be absolutely burning past Robertson. And Robertson just nabbed the ball off you with strength. That's a shame. I should have cut back there, but I was purposely running with him just to test, just to see if we could hold him off, just to see if we could outpace him. And we just couldn't get away. Oh, I don't know how Adama has come over there. Benzema with a shot. Good save. Oh, Adama with a chance. Oh, where's the shot power at? Delivery from the Spaniard onto the head of Benzema. Good save from Schmeichel. Chance. The ball's delivered in. There is Draxler, and Schmeichel is saving everything. Benzema links up nicely with Adama. There's a chance now for him to deliver into the box. Mane at the back stick, and Schmeichel saves again. Mane into Adama. Gets round one, and scores! He gets his goal in the end. Great footwork. And he finally puts one past Schmeichel, who's been outstanding in this game. It's a 3-1 scoreline in at the end, and Adama gets himself a goal. But let's be honest, he should have had multiple assists in that game. Schmeichel was on a mad one. Did he get a good rating for the opposition? Surely. Where, where is Schmeichel? He got a 6.9. He made some incredible saves. Anyway, Adama, like, I don't want to say he's good, or I don't want to say he's bad right now, but like... He's, he's one of them players. He's just so one-dimensional. Some people will love him. Some people will not like him. It is just that simple. Okay, then. Games are done. And I've got to say, Deck Rice throughout like, all the games I've played today has been class. So, really happy with that. Anyway, Adama ends with a record of three goals. Two, no, sorry, three appearances. Three, let me try again. 
Atama ends with three appearances, two goals and two assists. Not a terrible return by any means. And to be fair to him, he definitely could have had more assists. His deliveries were very, very nice indeed. And on another day, he would have picked up more direct assists. But I liked his passing. Like, his crossing is class. There's no doubt about that. He can certainly whip a ball into the box, has some very good deliveries. And uh, maybe if we had, you know, a bit more of a target man team, and uh, maybe if I was playing with that kind of playstyle more, we would have got more assists. But um, yeah, did well to get what he did, to be fair. And as I say, created chances, which is pleasing. What do we like about this card? Obviously the pace. He is pretty damn quick in game and he does have a good bit of strength about him to be able to hold off would-be defenders. So obviously that's nice. He certainly does have breakaway ability and we saw that in the footage. His dribbling is also nice for the most part. For the most part. There are some occasions where he doesn't feel quite as reactive as some other wingers in the game, despite sometimes showing incredible agility. He was very inconsistent for me in the dribbling department. I can understand why he does have some high dribbling stats, but I can also in-game feel the low reactions and feel the low composure. But yeah, it's very, very hit and miss. On some occasions, he's going to feel so freaking good on the ball, and on others, he's going to lose possession, which is, you know, a bit odd. But once again, you saw that in the footage. And then we come on to the shooting, which is another area of his game, which is not terrible by any means. But, like, when he's in space, he can produce a nice shot. But when he's under pressure, it is just not going to be a good output. And I also have to comment on the shot power, which to me just didn't quite, fight, uh, didn't quite feel as good as the in-game stats suggest. It wasn't horrible, but um, yeah, didn't feel as high as it maybe should have. But all in all, it's a good item, but I don't think it's a great item. And like I said at the end of one of the games, I do feel like some people are going to absolutely love this card, but some people are going to absolutely hate it as well. People who can get to grips with their dribbling on this guy will like him, but people who can't will absolutely hate him just because he does not have the output that some other cards have within Ultimate Team. I don't feel like he's as OP as he has been in previous years. I think that's fair to say straight away, but it's still a nice card. And as I say, in the right hands, it will do work. But I think for the majority of people, you're better off looking at other Premier League options. Options. In terms of right wingers, there just are many, many better options. Um, like Heroes Joko, for example, pretty obvious one, much cheaper as well. Um, and to be honest, Inform Saka is not far off this card. Obviously, he doesn't quite have the physicals, but he's a good passer as well who doesn't have the best shooting. So in that respect, they're pretty similar. And obviously, there is quite a big price difference. But uh, yeah, I, I can't recommend picking up this card at its current cost. And I do imagine it will come down quite substantially. But yeah, fun card, but ultimately not an elite card. And uh, as I say, I don't think everyone will get on with the item. But for those who do, I think they will have a bit of a field there. Anyway, it is a big shame about the weak foot as well. I forgot to comment on that, but it's a pretty obvious thing. Two-star weak foot, the left foot does suck. It just it just does, which will come as a surprise to nobody. He is one of them players who you have to play to his right foot. You have to play to his strengths to get something out of. Um, so, yeah. I also felt at times I had to force him up the field, which you don't really have to do with other wingers. But with this guy, I felt sometimes I had to wait for him. But once he got going, obviously he showed that elite pace to break away. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the 86 rated Adama Triora. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Comment below who you want me to review next. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.